Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2024 release, Mads. It's a Shudder original, and it's coming to Shudder on Friday, October 18th. So this is a no-spoiler review. Well, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about this up front. It's a French-language film, so for people who can't handle subtitles, just know that it is a subtitled film. The other thing is it's a continuous, like a one-continuous shot type of film, which we get these films every now and then. We usually don't get a whole lot within the horror genre, but there have been a few of these films that come around every few years where they're like shot in one take and it's just one continuous scene. Um, there are challenges with that and there are things that are interesting about it and things that are bad about it, but I'll, I'll end up talking about that a little bit more as I go on with the review. So this film is directed by David Moreau. Uh, who directed Them, which I have seen and I really like. That's the film, the French language film that was the basis for Strangers, The Strangers, which I saw both of them and I think Them is definitely a lot better than The Strangers is. So if you like The Strangers, check out Them. Uh, also did The Eye, It Boy, Sewells, and King, uh, written by Lucille Guillaume, uh, Lukowski, Yovel, and Ziomara Melissa ah Ahumada Kito. I did the best I could on those names. Uh, again, Shutter Original coming Friday, October 8th, or sorry, 18th. Um, so quick synopsis. Uh, it's, it's basically uh, follows primarily initially a guy who is doing some drugs with his drug dealer, stops by there to get some drugs to do a, you know, do a few bumps. And then he's taken off and it's, you know, continuous shot. So it's just kind of following him. And as he's driving away, something happens, something kind of out of nowhere just happens to his life. And it kind of starts this, you know, ball of rolling of all these events that are happening that night. So you're just kind of there for the ride to see all of this stuff unfold. So uh, not going to say too much about it for people who want to see it, because I don't want to give much away. Uh, I had seen someone in my discord saying that, um, they kind of wish they had not actually watched the trailer because they felt like it probably gave too much away. And I will say, uh, thinking about this even having a trailer, which I didn't watch the trailer, thinking about it even having a trailer, yeah, I would guess that it was it gave away way too much. Uh, that's my assumption. By the way, you might see a cat tail. Oh, no, you didn't. Cat was walking here. But I was hoping she would come on screen. I'm hoping one of these days that she makes an appearance. But we'll see. Okay, so the opening score for this film makes you believe that it's going to become a little bit overbearing, potentially, because it goes very hard, very loud, very early. But they do then kind of take some steps back, and they really go a lot more restrained with it. So I was preparing myself to, like, really complain about that. But then I was like, oh, they kind of, like, took it back, lowered it down, kind of made it pretty minimal throughout the film, which is my favorite type of score, or less is more. And it really helps with, you know, focusing on what's going on around all the characters, the sound design, all that type of stuff, which is great. Uh, there is some very engaging camera work. Now, here's the thing. With it just being like one continuous shot, you need to really follow these characters. And that ends up turning into actually some really engaging, interesting camera work that otherwise may not exist within the film. So the wonderful thing about it is they've thought a lot of these shots out. Like these are very, very mapped out and continuous. I'm a big fan of kind of continuous motion camera work in scenes. Now, whether that means that I love like one move, a movie that's one continuous shot, not really. Um, I just mean within scenes uh, because the problem with the continuous shot situation is that you are leaving in a bunch of stuff that a better movie would leave out. Uh, think about what people were saying about In a Violent Nature. You know, that was not one continuous shot film, but the fact that they were showing so much of a character just walking, you get that type of stuff with this film. Now, that said, I do think as a, as a uh, one continuous shot film, I think they kind of did the best they could with keeping things moving because what you have to realize about doing this is that you, since you're doing it all in one take, you need to make sure that when you're coming to your other locations or going back to locations or going back to characters, you have all the stuff set up that you need, especially if you're doing something like practical effects or you're, you know, showing some gore or whatever. You need to make sure that 
there you have a team that gets everything in place while you're still shooting and it's a pretty tight timeline really so it makes you wonder how many times they had to try and do that but yeah and i also assume that because of that there are some not as great scenes and some mistakes that ended up just staying because they're kind of like it's fine it's fine we're not going to stop filming for this because we're trying to do this one continuous take um this the film does start upbeat but then quickly shifts tone when something intriguing is in introduced very early on like i was saying with the synopsis something kind of out of nowhere ends up happening and it takes this kind of like la 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 you know happy times upbeat feeling good because the guy's like party vibes because he's on drugs uh, and then you just like boom things just kind of flip and that's when you're just like okay now i'm excited to see where this goes unfortunately they backpedal a bunch from there um you're still dealing with the situation that came up but it slows down a lot uh there isn't as much excitement and it kind of starts to stagnate unfortunately um you do become aware that this is done in one continuous take which makes you wonder how the pacing will be not great is my answer but also makes you think about how they pulled it off again going back to what i was talking about about needing to set up all these teams that can you know prep all these other scenes that you have going on or if you're coming back to a location all that stuff so um I don't know if anyone else is like that, but when I watch movies, especially something like that, I just start thinking about that things. I'm like, well, how did they do this? Well, how did they do that? You know, they must have done something like this. They must have done something like that. But yeah, that's just me. Um, because of the continuous shooting, the camera work does get very shaky at times. So if you have a problem with that, you might have a problem at certain moments. It's not 100% like the whole time like that. Um, Honestly, I, I honestly don't know why they didn't decide to just make a few tweaks to the script, if there was a script, and make this a um, found footage film, because it's very close to a found footage film. Like, really, all they needed to do, it is a found footage film, except for the fact that they don't set the premise as found footage. All they needed to do was do that. Just be like, this is why someone's filming. This is why we have footage of this. That's all they needed to do, honestly. And it wouldn't have taken that much to work that into the script, honestly. They should have just done that, mainly because I think it would have baked in more of a fan base that will want to check out this film. Because if you say found footage, there's a certain subsection of the horror community who's immediately going to be like, I don't care if it's good or bad, I'm watching it because I am all about found footage. And I get it. You know, I have certain films... Yeah, I like werewolf films for me like there's so few werewolf films that if there is one that comes out I, i'm 100 percent down to see it even if people say it's not great just saying uh a lot of the dialogue seems very throwaway and i wouldn't be surprised to find out that most of it was ad-libbed and this is why i said earlier if there was a script because i'm not 100 percent sure of the way this plays out that there was it may have just more been like an outline and they kind of set up some premises and some locations and they're like this is what we're going to end up doing and then you guys kind of whatever you have to do um dialogue wise because the dialogue doesn't feel like it matters a whole lot the other thing that you have to think about especially with more primary characters in the film how are they going to remember all of their lines for an entire hour and a half this movie is an hour and 28 minutes with credits um how do you expect someone who might be in a movie close to that long or that entirety of it to remember every single line and be able to get it in one take? So that's why I think they probably just ad-libbed a lot of the dialogue. They're just like, maybe throw out some ideas of like, yeah, maybe talk about this, maybe talk about that. But it's very throwaway dialogue. It's very just like people just like making fun of each other, yelling at each other, you know, just really nonsensical. Like, that's not, not nonsensical, but stuff that just doesn't matter. It doesn't push the story forward. And that's one of the problems is that there's barely any story to this film for that reason. I think the, the continuous scene uh, idea that they had, it's interesting and it does impress me to a degree how they were able to pull it off. But at the same time, you know, pacing really suffers and the story severely suffers and the dialogue suffers in this instance and the performances suffer because you kind of have to go with what you get, not necessarily with, you know, let's do another take of that. I wanted something better. You can't do that. Uh, around the 40 minute mark is where things really end up stepping up. 
again, takes quite a while for things to really start going, but part of the problem is they're just following people. That, that's what's happening. Uh, scenes just go on too long. Again, that's the issue with trying to do a film this way. Scenes go on way too long, and people are just like, well, people like me are like, okay, can we move on, please? Let's get there. Uh, kudos to the actors for pulling it off, especially because there are situations where, for a very extended period of time, some of these characters have to be very energetic, have to be showing very severe emotions, and to be able to sustain that for a long period of time and s still be in character and still seem convincing and not mess something up, pretty impressive. So I think the cast did such an amazing job. Between the cameraman and the cast, that's what really sells the film, I think. So that brings me to my rating. Out of five stars, half stars in play, I'm going to go a solid three-star rating. I am impressed with what they were able to do, and I think that's a big component. The camera work, the acting, all that stuff gets me to the three-star. It is an interesting premise, and there is some interesting stuff that happens in it, but it's I I thought about going two and a half because I was kind of in the middle, but I'm like, you know, there's enough like positives to get it to the three-star. So I think three-star for me, I think it is worth seeing if you're okay with all the issues that I pointed out, just saying that, but... Anyway, this is where I'd love to hear from other people, especially if you have differing opinions. Go ahead and put it down in the comments. We can do spoilers down there. Also, in the description, I started memberships for the channel if you want to check that out. Uh, I, you can subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Thumbs up on the video to help with the algorithm and hit the notification bell button. Then you'll know when I'm putting up new videos. But anyway, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. Appreciate that. And until next time, keep it brutal.